Netflix's Lock and Key, an adaptation of Stephen King's son Joe Hill's astonishing horror comic series, is finally coming to the small screen. Yet with a story filled with everything from gender-swapping demons, to portals to hell, to ghostly apparitions and magical keys, what actually is Lock and Key about? And what makes it one of the best horror fantasy series out there? Here's your mostly spoiler-free primer for Lock and Key. Lock and Key follows the Lock family, who experienced a horrific and personal tragedy, and decided to move across the country into their dad's childhood home, the Key House, an old, creepy Victorian home, in order to try and rebuild their lives and sense of connection. The Key House is an incredibly large and foreboding building, filled with a near endless amount of hidden, locked doors. The children of the family include the inquisitive youngest Bodie, the brooding and aloof Kinsey, and the kind-hearted yet guilt-ridden Tyler. Bode, Kinsey, and Tyler begin to find magical keys, which unlock the hidden doors around Key House. And they quickly discover that opening each door enables new powers. Without spoiling the more important keys, the ghost key lets someone's soul leave their body and inhabit other bodies. The gender key actually swaps someone's biological sex. The Anywhere key lets you travel to any other door in the entire world, as long as you can picture it in your head. Yet while this may initially seem like a whimsical child story, Lock and Key is firmly grounded as a horrific and terrifying tale. While the main story deals with three kids trying to overcome trauma, the three soon discover that Key House hides more than just magical keys. Instead, Bodhi soon discovers a spirit living in the dark well house who manages to convince Bodhi to let her escape out into the world. Yet, the three siblings soon learn that this spirit has darker motives, as well as a dark connection to their own father's mysterious past. And the spirit continually manages to manipulate and trick everyone around them, and even enables some more murderous impulses. As the children get drawn deeper and deeper into the mystery of Key House, they also begin to use the keys in decidedly unhealthy ways. With the keys beginning to deepen and enable elements of their trauma, including some insanely clever yet disturbing manipulation of their own emotions, memories, and minds. All the while, the children begin to understand that their father may not have been the good man that they all believed him to be. As the series progresses, it masterfully balances moments of sheer bone-chilling eldritch horror straight out of Lovecraft, though without the really over and gross racism, with moments of transcendent beauty and grace that rival some of the best character arcs in comic books. Despite being the son of Stephen King, Joe Hill has earned being seen as a great horror writer of his own. In 2008, Hill teamed up with artist Gabriel Rodriguez, an illustrator who worked as an architect, to create Lock and Key, a perfect person to work on a series centered on an old Victorian home. Lock and Key ended its run in 2013, completing its entire story in a near-perfect fashion, something that many ongoing comic books often fail to do. With such rich and well-developed source material to draw from, we couldn't be more excited to once again enter Key House and begin to find out what door the next key may open.